The last message I'll leave this video with. I see a lot of fucking men out there being lost or self-conscious. I can't say that or they'll think I'm an idiot. I can't go up and talk to that girl because she'll think I'm weird or if it's in public or if it's a... If you were a true sovereign individual, masculine, didn't give a fuck, confident in your goddamn self, you would not give a fuck because nobody can be you. So many men nowadays got that earbud in their ear trying to copy the Andrew Tates, trying to copy their favorite fucking streamer, the favorite person that pops up that they find so respectable. Stop trying to copy them and be the true fucking you. That's the only way you're not going to give a fuck about shit in life, is if you are truly your goddamn self. Old son, as a man, your identity, your masculinity is fucking everything. The reason why people are depressed, the reason why people are suicidal, the reason why men just fucking go aimlessly through life is because they lack identity. Motherfuckers that don't have a job or don't you do useful shit for themselves as well as society, they just work some bullshit job or their whole life revolves around straight up just fucking nothing besides, oh, I made $12 an hour and I get to play Fortnite or NBA 2K today. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna watch Kai Sinat later. You're fucking lame. You're lame. Motherfucker. There's three levels to this shit whenever it comes to identity. Those who lack identity, they will have no self-respect. They'll get butthurt if someone calls them an idiot or calls them names because, hey, you already, you damaged my already fleeting ego and identity. Oh, man, you're weak. Then you have the next level, which is where I'm at. It is... It's an upward staircase of chasing your identity. You know where you want to be, so now you're trying to fucking build that shit. And in my opinion, this might be one of the best planes to be. Because you constantly have something to look forward to. And then the next level of identity is the ones who fucking make it. This will be the person with uh, 100,000 views on each video. This will be the fucking Michael Jordans. The successful people in life that have made their money, made their impact. That is the next level. There's a three-stage process to this shit. And then it really just comes down to what you do in a day. Your goal should be to get to the level of full identity. You know exactly who you are. It's the best blacksmith in the village where all the town's folks have to come to him. He knows he's the fucking shit. He knows what he's doing. Look, sit in a little fucking cubicle all day. Oh, I monitor the stock market. I'm a crypto cunt. I just work in this fucking little white box all day. You're not going to feel fulfilled from that shit, dog. <clears throat> Most men nowadays, the only masculine fucking thing they do in a day is the two hours, maybe two hours. Most men now are going to the gym for 40 minutes. But the 40 minutes to an, two hours that they go to the gym in a day, that's the only fucking thing. The rest of the time, they're binge watching YouTube videos. They're not doing anything productive besides maybe, maybe, oh, I work at a fast food restaurant. I actually make money and I'm living at mommy's house and I get to save a lot. I'm actually doing the smart thing because I get to save money. You're fucking lame. People will call this mindset that I have toxic. They'll use all these fucking buzzwords. Oh, you're, you're a toxic masculinity and all this shit. This was created by men that's got low testosterone. Their balls are about the size of a fucking peanut. They sit around all day, white nighting for motherfuckers, and they just, they serve no fucking purpose to this world. They all fear any sort of judgment from society. They're just overall weak people. Real men know that this shit, you can call it purpose. You can call it Whatever, but the simplest form is a sense of identity. I see it all the fucking time. Men working some fast food bullshit job. It could be like delivery service or some bullshit like that. They feel lost. They're, they're constantly got an earbud in their ear listening to some podcast trying to find meaning of this shit. It's as simple as a hey, retard. You're obviously not doing anything that fucking works. So change it up completely. Go do something else. Find a different fucking job. This is why I preach doing some sort of tradesman work for so many people or taking all this information you learned in a podcast and synthesizing it out to other people and going after your hopes and your fucking dreams. You don't got to be some hyper-masculine cage fighter or blacksmith or just some of these jobs like this. You can be something as simple as a tradesman or someone who 
benefit society, builds fucking houses, builds roads, builds structures, comes up with the ideas for all this shit, helps people. Nobody needs a fucking double cheeseburger. These are just lazy fat fucks that don't want to cook, don't want to per- put in any work doing their diet. Oh, I work too late. I work too late. No, it's all a fucking excuse. I work a full-time job, do a bunch of shit on the side on top of that, and still make time to make food for the week. Oh, but it doesn't taste ideal. You're weak. Motherfucker, get your nuts into your sack, get them out of your stomach, and start doing some shit in this life. Chase paper and enjoy nature, and be a fucking man.